The wicked one comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And I come to give you life. He told Jeremiah at the potter's house, I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans to prosper you, to bless you, to give you a bright future with hope. God, your plan for your people is bright and it's hopeful and it's wonderful. And so we come this morning, God, thank you for reminding us that God, you are on our side. All of us. You don't have favorites. You don't pick and choose. You're on our side. You are our God. We are your children. You are our Father. We don't have to steal from you. All we gotta do is ask you. God, I need. God, you see my circumstance. God, you know what I stand in the need of. Heavenly Father, open the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing. God, meet the need as only you can. We don't have to steal.
so that we can have riches in heaven and be eternally with you in our other home not made with hands. This is our prayer. This is our request in Jesus' name. And now while we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Thank you.